Hello everyone, I'm doing a quick and interesting video real quick, primarily about inexpensive lighting. Um, the lights here, uh, there are four of them um, that I actually have purchased to be used to make films with uh, very soon, other projects with. Uh, the main goal behind these were to be very cost effective and easy to use. So what's unique about these versus the other four that I have, which I'll make a whole separate video on, is that all of these are powered by USB. They are LED and powered by USB. That is correct. Um, that adds to their versatility <clears throat> across the board, aka they also don't use much power, um, which is really helpful. Uh, so you can actually have many of these lights connected at one time to one circuit, and they don't use much of anything. Uh, and to go ahead and showcase a little bit of that, is I have this fantastic uh, tripod here that allows me to connect my phone to it, which is great. Um, I can walk you through some of these pieces. So in the previous video, <clears throat> I think you guys saw, actually let me go ahead and do it, start with this. Here's one of the batteries that we were using. We were using this to actually power the Z-Cam. Uh, I'm just going to throw on a light real quick to add a little bit to this. So I can go ahead and quickly grab this little light. Now, I'm not going to link to any of these because these were all purchased on sale. I don't really want to link to things that aren't on sale. You should find them when they are on sale and buy them. Um, so three of these lights, the controls are the same. This is the one that is different, that's why I'm starting with it. So as you can see, it's currently plugged in <clears throat> to the battery at 97%. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on. This one does not have um, any color control. The other three do. Um, but you can see pretty easily that, and I'll show you right now, that it also comes with a bunch of filters, this one. And you can actually slide whatever gel you'd like in front of it. Um, all of these guys came with a very cheap, most case very junky or crappy, for lack of a better word, tripod, but it's sufficient. This doesn't really weigh much of anything. This one even actually has a, uh, a handle on the base, which is nice, and then you can see how it folds out with this. And what's cool about this is that these guys actually, you can remove these and use them for different purposes. So it's kind of a neat thing, but I'm just going to turn this light on for right now. Notice we're at 96%, and this is at, should be at full brightness. We are at full brightness now. So we'll see what it's at by the time we're done talking. So supposedly this is a 6,000 milliamp battery. I don't think it is, but we'll go from there. Okay. So the next thing that was up that I wanted to cover is these batteries right here. Uh, these batteries are the ones I used the other day. I use these directly on my Z cam. They have a USB port on the bottom. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure these are definitely what they're rated for, which is uh, 7,800 milliamp, 7,800 milliamp, uh, if I can get it to focus, come on, there we go, and 57 watt hours, so this should last a long time, to be honest with you, um, so these other lights, so we've got this small one right here, it's actually meant to put a phone on, but it has this fantastic clip, that you can clip on almost any surface, or tripod stand, or anything, um, you can obviously do that, there is a bolt in here, so you could choose to remove it and actually change the mount, perhaps. I've thought about that, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, so let me go ahead and take this guy. I can plug it into this battery that we've got here. So if I take this and plug it into this guy, it now is going to show me that this lights up, that it has power from USB. And I can go ahead and turn this light on. And this one, like the others, have this wonderful three-color mode. You actually rotate through, and you've got about 10 stops of brightness. So that's all the way down, and all the different pieces. And I think these all have 10 stops of brightness control. Um, so you may be asking why ring lights? Well, they're just, we're inexpensive. So that fortunately helps. You know, I unfortunately stopped the recording, I started again. So anyway, so price-wise, these are very reasonable as a result. Um, and you'll find, I'm going to plug in now the next one in the row, um, that they're actually quite bright in most cases. Um, most cinema lenses today, or lenses, cameras today, don't require a huge amount of light anymore. So these end up being particularly bright and powerful, to be honest with you, in most situations. And they add a different dispersion. Dispersion meaning a light pattern uh, is what I meant to say, and you can kind of do different things with them. And what's great is they're just inexpensive. 
Um, I think that across the board, um, and when they're on sale, you're looking at a price tag somewhere in the ballpark um, of 20 bucks a piece, you know, with a stand, with the light and all that, and they can be powered on USB, right? So very, very easy. Um, where do I see these being used more heavily? I think that also in cars and vehicles. Remember, sometimes the hardest thing to do is to light inside a vehicle nowadays. Um, and for especially a low-budget filmmaker, the easiest thing you can do is simply use an adapter and actually plug into the cigarette lighter and plug in your LED light and be able to power off a USB. I mean, it doesn't really use that much power. Um, so you'd actually light everyone with just one little adapter in the car and have these devices. Now I've got five of these, three of these, three of those, and three of these. Um, so they can be used as accent lights, pop lights, they can be bounced. Remember, you don't have to put this directly on the person or at the subject. Use it to fill the room or just to get a little kick, you could easily do that. And again, cost-wise, I think between all this, with five of these, three of these, three of those, and three of those, I think it's gotta be less than 300 bucks. And that's like more than enough lighting that you would possibly need uh, in most situations. And you have almost everything covered, especially with the fact that they can switch color temperature. I think you're in pretty good shape for the most part. The one other thing I know that's going to come up is you're gonna say, well, how do I get placement? What about if I don't wanna use a battery? That's fine. It makes sense. Down here is a new tool that we've not used yet, but I'm looking forward to using. Um, is a literally a, I guess you'd call it a multi-socketed extension cord. So this is a 33 foot approximately long extension cord that has seven outlets throughout the extension cord. So for example, if we were to have this screwed about and plugged in, let's say somewhere, somewhere over there, We'd have one outlet here. We'd have an outlet there, an outlet there, as well as we could actually throw the outlets all the way over here. You could have an outlet all these different places on the ground, so you can actually follow and plug in lights wherever. So if you didn't want battery, you could easily power all these LED lights off of this one strip, organize, you know, put it throughout your set where it's appropriate, and then go ahead and plug in your lights. And seven outlets, that's a lot, you could throw a power strip on there if you needed to probably, and get away with quite a bit with very little. I know the biggest issue is running power for lights sometimes and getting things set up. This just makes it all the more easy. So it kind of wraps up what I wanted to cover for today. So it's been on for a little bit, say like five or six minutes. We're at 91%, so we use like 5%. So you're probably in the ballpark of 90 minutes, two hours on this little battery pack. I think that this would actually last probably I don't know, somewhere close to like five or six hours in this light, but I don't know that for sure, but close enough. Um, and then you, if you needed, you could actually run, you know, just little blocks for USB power or whatever for your lights. I'm gonna cover the other lights that we've got in another video, but I figured I'd just show you guys, you don't need a lot to do a lot. I mean, something very cheap and inexpensive, and, and don't forget, these are extremely light. There's like nothing to this. So if you need to tape it to something or gaff it to a wall, you could get away with that pretty easily. Um, they don't weigh anything, uh, which makes it just, or zip tie it to something. If you want to just throw a zip tie on here and zip tie it quick, briefly to something, you could do that. Um, this makes it that much easier. You know, also lightweight, running and gunning. If you need to move and get a shot set up, you're not dealing with heavy stuff or having to throw down a bunch of sandbags or anything like that. Uh, maybe they're susceptible to wind. I would say that they probably are. You might want to do something about that. Um, but in general, I think this is a good way to make something happen with little or few dollars. And, you know, with these batteries, for example, um, I mean, not only does the, can these cameras run off of them, but the other lights, which again, another video can run off of these and so can the camera. So versatility is really good for this. Um, and then having a bunch of battery backs, I mean, these are again, like $10 and these guys are about 25 bucks. Um, so a lot of versatility is good. And that's that. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the future.